Hello! We are so excited to show you our amazing jewelry drop for June. We've got amazing pieces. All of us experts are here to show you how to mix and match and just really show the length and the excitement for these amazing pieces. Now, we're um, if you're part of the lifestyle group, you are lucky because we're doing some amazing outfits of the day. We want to show different fun things. So right now we're doing summer dresses. And if you have an incredible summer dress, we want to see it. If you want help with a summer dress on how to accessorize or um, make it a little bit more your type, post that and ask for the help. It's just so much fun in that lifestyle group to be able to uh, help each other out and show the amazing, beautiful outfits we can all come up together. Now, this month only, lifestyle is $12.95, which is the lowest price we have ever offered our lifestyle membership. So we'd love you to be a part of it. Join us, join us, join us over in Lifestyle. It's so much fun. And you get such amazing resources to be able to really up your style, realize who you are, and really grow into that beautiful person you are. So let's start with some jewelry pieces. Okay, you can see I've got some pretty phenomenal, amazing drop earrings here, which is our party posies see their little posy earrings and they've got the three they drop almost to your shoulder but they are so lightweight it's this really wonderful um gosh it's just light it's kind of a cloth but maybe i can't really tell what exactly it's made of but it's so light and it's got a little bit of movement and it plays just it just plays so fun so if you were wondering what these look like on, I know our longer earrings, you kind of want to see how far they go down. So here's an example of that. And then I've got our little peachy butterfly earrings in my second holes. Now these are obviously would be so cute in if you just have a single hole just to pop in that bright peach color. Peach is something we don't find very often in the type one. That's that perfect tint of a peach. A lot of times it can move towards the coral or um, shadier colors of a type three. So this butterfly earring is so, so, so fun. It's so beautiful and so cute. And I thought it was a really fun combination doing both the butterfly and the flowers because, you know, type one, bright, happy spring, summertime. So delightful. This necklace I'm wearing is called Enchanting. I'm gonna move my screen down just a little bit. It's got two pearl drops and it is so beautiful. It's elegant and lovely and simple. And my secondary four is just very happy with this beautiful drop. Now you can make it as high as you want, which is kind of fun too. kind of make it like a little choker. If you have a, a shirt that's a little bit um, more, a little lower in the neckline. Just beautiful. Okay, I wanna show you some amazing bracelets. This is our Playful Pops. These are also just beaded, very lightweight. Now the fun thing about these is you can wear them all together and it's just a really fun stack and stacking your bracelets is a really awesome trend that we're seeing right now, thanks to Taylor Swift and her beaded bracelets. <laughs> We've got some for you too. Um, a little thing I was thinking that I could tell you would be so, you know, if you're just not feeling one of the colors on a certain day, you can pop it out. You still have an awesome multi-bracelet chain. Um, you can wear one or two. You can pop it on with a different kind of bracelet, like our um, pearls and pose. And then you can wear them those all together, add it on the, another pop of color. You've got a really cool stack again. These playful pose is poise, poise, poise and elegance are so beautiful. It's got three strands, one pearl strand, one uh, flower strand, and one just gold strand. So really something you can just put with a whole bunch of different bracelets to stack, wear them on their own. Such a cute concept and idea um, for you yeah, for these fun summer months. Okay, I want to show you some other incredible earrings we have. I'm going to take both of these off so I don't, um, the earrings can have their own spotlight. We've got this awesome lemon meringue. It's a much smaller little earring. So while I'm putting these in, we can show you the close up of it. But they have yellow and white, and it's just this perfect, like, lemon meringue 
color, it describes it perfectly. And they are just basic, cute drop pops of color. You're going about your day. You want a little bit of that yellow, sunshine yellow in your life. Pop these earrings in your ear and you are good to go. So cute. Okay. Now I love hoops. Hoops are, are just something that I kind of gravitate towards. Now we're type one. So circles are so good for us. These are called Sherbert earrings and they have a little yellow and a little pink. And it's a huge hoop, but they are very light. It's just this very kind of opaque coloring. And you've got the hoop trend on lockdown with these. They are so, so cute. See, look, they're not like too crazy big. They actually hold their space very well. They're not going to move all over, which is, <laughs> which can be very nice with the big hoop. So it's not like getting all tangled in your your hair and everything, but look at how just darling these Sherbert earrings are. Okay, let's show you some necklaces that we've got. I think we have an amazing variety of necklaces this time. We've got these blue skies ahead. Now we've been seeing the trend being more simpler pieces, so it's fun actually getting a piece that's a little bit more bold back in. And these blues are just incredible, perfect blue uh, for the type one. And it's just such a beautiful drop with the three strands. It also comes with the lighter blue color of the earring. So you're getting two for one. Isn't that just beautiful? I know this is a piece that many of you are going to love because the statement pieces are so fun to wear. Okay. Fancy flutter, getting back to that simple uh, necklace concept is this beautiful. Gosh, look at that chain. Isn't that chain interesting? I love it when the chains have just a little bit more interest than just one little strand. It's kind of like a weaving of the gold. But look at how darling this is. It's kind of a, it just drops perfectly underneath the collarbone. It's a beautiful. What is this? Gosh, I can't think of the word marvel, <laughs> but it's just stunning. Stunning, simple, something you're going to want to wear every day. It's so lightweight. You could probably even sleep in it. It's perfect. All right. The next necklace I want to show you is called Delicate Delights. And this is a two strand necklace and strands are just so in way on trend. I love that it has the heart strand and a pearl strand, which, gosh, that comes totally, totally in style, totally on point, and just the cutest thing ever. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? The hearts above, the pearls below. Mm, gorgeous. Okay, I want to show you some more earrings. Now these ones are really interesting. It's called my other half earrings. And if you've seen these online, they're really cool because it actually has the little middle of the earring in front and you put in the flower behind your ear. And so it looks like you actually have a little flower just kind of right behind. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. New favorite earrings, these are so darling. Very easy to put on. An interesting earring that we don't see very often, which makes it so just delightful. Something Dressing Your Truth offers that nobody else does. It's because we got your back. We want you to have the most fun earring. Okay, I wanna show you one more necklace. Now, this one's called Heart Power. And as type ones, wearing things that look like candy is so thrilling. This has an amazing tight chain. You can see that it um, is not going to be a chain that kind of moves around too much. And the neck, the flower, the flower, the heart, it looks like just a little gummy heart. And it is so cute. So beautiful. That picture showed the color a little bit better. It's pink and just, oh gosh, it's just lovely. Look at how darling. I can make it a little shorter, a little bit longer, so it fits my neckline a little better. There, that's better. 
Ladies, our jewelry drop is so, so good. You've had about a week to look at it now. I want you to go back in and see if there's something else fun that you love. Colleen has actually texted me some questions, so I'm gonna take a look at that real quick so I can answer them for you. Okay, where I got my headband, that's a very good question. I've had this one forever. It is really cute, huh? It's just a pearl with a little bow. Isn't that cute? You'll probably find it on Amazon. Just search pearl bow headband. <laughs> and I actually got this top from Amazon this year. It's on the Style Inspire. I'll um, post a link to it. Gosh, it was probably a few months ago. But it's this blue. It's a unitard. So it um, is that bodysuit. And it's so cute with the the little dotted sleeves, little puff sleeves. Oh, lovely. Well, thank you so much for joining the type one section. We can go ahead and move on to the type two and in invite Anne on. Welcome, Anne. Hello. So Look, I have a butterfly too. Butterflies, Anne. They are just the <laughs> loveliest things right now. Yes. We're loving them. So many cute things, Julia. Thank you, you always manage to show so many. I try to. I try and get them all on. Good job, yes. <laughs> hey, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. So now we're going to type two. This is our pattern guide, and you can see it's softer tones. And the movement is soft, fluid, flowing, connected. I'm wearing a summer dress. Before I get into the jewelry, I'll show you. This is what it looks like head to toe. It's um, abstract, so you can't really tell. But these are like starfish and shells and coral on the pattern. So this is a, a type of style of dress that I love a lot that has like the ruched um, waistline. And this is from Anthropology. It's a little older, but you can find... This style of dress with the ruched and the puff sleeves, it's really popular right now. So um, this was a fun, fun pattern to play with, a little bit different as, you know, sea creatures and stuff like that. So, and you can see it works with the pattern guide. Can you see that? Okay, <laughs> the pattern guide will. All right, now moving to jewelry. Um, I went with a little bit more, that's kind of bright, right? there you can see this one better these are really pretty we do a lot of these types of earrings as type two just the beautiful intricate details the teardrop uh, medium to large scale these are lightweight though and it has like that really shimmery border which is really nice so just a fun way to to dress up i think dresses in the summer can go from casual to more dressy and so these earrings take that level up a little bit and then this um let me pull up the names of these and then we can start showing pictures as well. There we go. That's the, um, the necklace and it's very dainty, but it's really cute. It has the like iridescent pearled wings and pearls are really popular right now. I'm enjoying them a lot. And so this is like a nice combination. And this, if you're a secondary one, you may really enjoy the butterflies because they're just so sweet and okay. Um, I don't remember the name of that one. Something with flutter. And then the, the oh, flutter finesse necklace. And then the earrings are glissade earrings. And then the bracelet that I have on has that definitely more intricate, beautiful, detailed quality. It's stretchy, so really easy to get on and off. Um, I pretty much exclusively wear stretchy bracelets for the fact that, like, they're just really soft on the wrist. So, and they're easy to get on and off. So if you, you know, washing your hands or you're at your computer and you need to take it off really easy, but I think it looks a little more upscale beyond just like a craft beaded bracelet, obviously. Okay, now I want to switch my earrings out for something just a little bit more um, casual, but still lovely. I just dropped both of them. <laughs> How did I manage to do that? One second. <gasps> And I'm back. <laughs> okay. These um, just have a nice teardrop shape. And I think they're just a little more casual because they don't have all the fancy detail and the glimmers. These are called cable couture. So now you could even put on some flat sandals with this dress instead of maybe a heel or a a nice you know ballet flat to make it more casual or what i think is really cute that people do is they wear sneakers um and sometimes i like to do that with dresses or you know you even can put on a, a ball cap if that's your look so 
Um, these are great option for summer because they're so lightweight and you can hardly even fill them, but they're definitely still making a statement. Okay, now I wanna switch to some earrings with a little more color and we'll transition into my second look. These are really pretty. They are purple river earrings and they're just studs. And they're cool because they kind of fold over from silver to purple. So you just get a little peekaboo of purple, a really nice kind of a brighter purple for type two. And then you can see how that just showcases just a bit of color. I love this type of earring for summer as well because you're getting color without a lot of um, extra weight. So the if you're getting some, some new jewelry, think of like, what am I gonna wear more this summer? And I love bringing, I get some of the most compliments that I get are on some DYT earrings that I've probably had for five years that are just tiny, you know, little, they're, they're not studs, but they're just tiny, but they have color. And I think people are drawn to like, oh, that's something interesting beyond just plain silver or plain gold, which we see a lot. Um, okay, this necklace that I just put on is tied with a bow. And we know that girl core is really trendy right now. So we're seeing bows and pearls, ruffles and details. And so I love that this combines both the bow and the pearl. I think this is one that I'd wear a lot because I'm loving these smaller just you know kind of hit right there i think they go with all sorts of necklines and it's just really sweet and detailed and just perfect type two dainty lovely sweet quality and then you can pair it with this bracelet so it comes with a bow around it if you like that look and you want to keep that accent you can keep it on otherwise just take it off but you can see it also has the pearls and the silver, this is a mix and mingle bracelet, so you can wear as many or few as you'd like. And they're very stretchy and soft, and they'll just kind of drape and be perfect for that type two movement. So I think that that combination is really pretty with the, the pearl on the, the necklace. Okay, now I'm going to switch to Tender Trends. Last jewelry drop, I showed some silver like teardrops that were really popular. This is another look that's really popular, these kind of thicker hoops. And we've seen a lot of gold the last 10 years. And one of the trends that we mentioned in style school was that silver was coming back, which I've never stopped wearing silver. You know, as a, in dressing your truth, there are some trends that you just don't do. Um, but I have like admired the cute gold hoops that everyone has been wearing. So I was excited to find some for us. I think that I just like how they're a little bit chunkier and they're oh, the white silver instead of being the high shine silver, which is just a, another great option. Another great style for summer. I think that this could go both ways, either dress, uh, casual with like a graphic tee or dressed up. I'm gonna wear these a lot, I already know it. Okay, let's move to the next look. I'll keep these earrings on. And we have another necklace that just has um, a smaller feature. I wear these necklaces all the time. I you know, switch from ones that have a little deep, like um, a design or a pearl or a teardrop. I wear these nonstop right now. It's just the very simple. Um, necklace smaller in size and then pair it with some pattern in a top or a larger earring and i get compliments on this a lot it's like a lotus flower and that's what it's called lotus necklace and it, you can go a little bit lower if you want to but i like kind of hit there especially if i'm wearing like a crew neck t-shirt that kind of just peeks right through but i think sometimes i'm like do i even need a necklace because i've got like a t-shirt on but i always think like having a little bit of silver I think it just adds a finishing detail and it's those small details as a type two that really I think bring the whole look together. So now that I'm um, I'm gonna go to a bigger earring just for fun. These are neat, they are wood, very lightweight even though they're bigger in size. And I think the color is so pretty. Oh, I've got the back on there already. It's like this deep maroon that I think pairs really nicely with this color that I've got on, the blue. I think this would be cute too with like your hair pulled up, depending on what color hair you have. If it's darker, 
Let's see, let's straighten those out. Everything's a little opposite as I'm looking at this. I'm like, which, where am I touching? So if your hair was pulled up, you can see that those um, are a little more showcased. I think they pair well with this. They kind of have a similar feel like the cut out flower look. Very cute. I'm going to switch the bracelets for this one that has the dark blues in it. And it's wrapped in this leather. So that's a, like a cute added detail. So you could wear this with a lot because it's got the dark green, gray, brown. It's sparkly. I'm going to just look up what Misty River. That's what that's called. And so there's that look with these earrings. Again, if my hair is out of the way, you can see it a little bit better. And the bracelet. And then I'm going to swap for a smaller earring. These are really neat. They are little hearts with dark, kind of the same color as the other one, dark purple maroon stones. And they're little hearts. Again, just that little touch of color that can make a big impact. And so in this summer, if you're feeling like just, you know, you've got all the kids home, you got to just throw an outfit together just to get to the activities or because they need you or whatever, just throw on something easy. Have like your easy go-to pieces. And I know that it helps me just feel put together and um, just like it helps me appreciate myself. It's a little bit of self-care to, to get ready for the day and to create a whole look and whole outfit. And it's really not that hard. So I feel like when you have dressing your truth, so many of the decisions have already been made that you just have to pick the pieces. You're going to put clothes on anyways. So why not put the right ones on, make it a style, and then top it off with some jewelry? Let's see. I have a few more necklaces um, that I'll just show in the casing. This one is cool because it's actually three separate necklaces. So you get um, different shapes, a teardrop an oval, just a stud. You can wear them all together or separate. And this is another one that has um, just a lot of these, the silver kind of um, stacked look that's really popular. And then this is another pretty one that's dark silver and has like a metal, um, a hammered effect, which are really pretty if you like that darker look. So I love the, the bits of color that we have, the simple um, pieces that are asked, adding that frosting to your overall look and just really bringing in your type two elegant, detailed, beautiful style. So enjoy these looks. We're now gonna pass it off to our type three, Carol. Hello. Aloha. Good morning. It's bright and early here in uh, the North Shore Oahu, but I'm loving summertime. Who's having a great summer? Sharing a comment. What's been your favorite summer activity so far? What about you, Ann? Oh. And it could be just being home with your kids, not yeah. having to run everybody everywhere. I was in charge of a, a camp for our church group with all the girls, and that was really fun. Yeah, and tell them how many and the ages. Well, 12 to 17 is the age, and we had 41 girls plus like 16 leaders. So, yeah. So I've thing. been teasing. But I, I have to tell you one other thing. I forgot I was going to mention. If you guys are hanging out with friends and family this summer, pull up the DYT quiz. One of my friends at the camp bought it up and had all the um, adults taking the quiz and like talking about their types. Know, yeah. <laughs> it's a good it's party. Like, if you're having good. a barbecue. It'd be a good yeah. reunion activity, too. It's a good good party trick, you know, bring it or out. It'll get, bring, the get your, going. get your yellow, um, draping kit. They're oh, really they're hard to <laughs> assemble. Use your style guides. When I get home, I have two more weeks here. That's one of the first to do's is we're going to start filming the, how to create your yellow draping kit. But honestly, ladies, you know how to purchase, you've got the style guides, go into a fabric store, find the correct yellows and talk about family reunion fun. Start, yeah, then send them all to the free course. That's yeah. the next step. So, I want to just real quick say, um, your daughter, I've only said this to you, not her. She could write the book on how to be a tween, she's very good oh. at it. <laughs> yeah, wasn't she sort of like, Mom? Like, because you get very, you and I, when we're in certain settings, that what type one 
comes out, that tertiary type one, and yours mm -hmm. came out at girls camp and you're getting them all excited and pumped up and didn't, wasn't there some, Katie was like a little. She was the, like, my mom's crazy. And the girls were like, Katie, your mom's awesome. I love your mom. And I was like, yeah, tell her. <laughs> That's right. That's what I was before, but you know, she's like, the queen is this too it. much? I'm like getting them all cheering, kicking my legs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for you. I was all right. Well, I'll tell get you into what, the I'm trying to turn it on for a while. And then. Yeah, okay. girl, yeah. yeah it was fun. Do it. So, well, thank you. We'll hey, we'll see ya. Now. Okay. All right. So I've got a favorite summer dress on. I'm a go-to t-shirt dresses. I love them. I'll find them at places like Walmart, Target, even find a lot of my favorites at thrift stores. This one is very simple, basic, solid colors. Hits right above the knee. And you may have noticed I have a V in here and I did cut the fabric because my, and I had to cut a V. I didn't just snip it. I've realized that when a crew neck hits me above or right at these um, bones right here, it's too high. It's too tight. Now, I have crew necks that will hit me below, a little bit below, and I don't cut them. So that's my marker. Well, let's get into jewelry. I'm going to show you just earrings. These particular earrings are beaded. Let's just say I want to up level the dress. I'm feeling a little too uh, just blah. And I might just throw in a pair of earrings. Look at that. Look how much that changes this whole look. You know, you send the message out to, you send the message to yourself and to, you know, you're making impressions all the time. And why not make the impression to other women? I care about myself. I want you to care about yourself. I think the humility that comes with dressing your truth, because we're not trying, we're not trying to look better from a place of a lack of self-esteem. That particular energy is off-putting. We're we're sharing our true self and honoring other women's true self. So that really gets noticed. And let's encourage that by just accessorizing. Now I'm going to throw on a bracelet. I'm going to go from um, simpler necklace to my day to night. We're going to go day to night here. So I might put this on as a day bracelet. You could easily take off half of these. You could wear all of them. You could mix and match these. You could keep it super simple with just a few. So a lot of options with this. You could combine them. Now, this particular pendant neck necklace, I really, really like. It's lightweight, has that colored, I think that's, I know that's not real. I don't think it's resin, but the uh, it's got a nice vibrant color to it. And so I'm just going to throw that on now to, if I want to do necklace earrings and a cuff. I like, if you like some, if you like necklaces to drop, have that option to drop a little bit lower, it's a good piece to have. I'm going to add a smaller earring this time, another beaded earring that I'm going to color everything sort of coordinating now without looking matchy, matchy, Matt, matching items either will come off as symmetry as type four or it'll come off as cute depending on what's matched so type threes i i never pair up identical pieces to match them i'll mix things up so now you've got kind of another level we've gone up a little bit more so now we will add a different, let's say you want to, this necklace lends itself. It can look very casual to dressy, as any of them can. Lightweight, I get it. I'm in a more 
um, humid climate here. So I'm representing all of us that deal with some humidity in the summer. It's not like Florida though, or Texas. We get a lot of what's called trade winds here. When there's no trade winds, it gets, it can be only 85 degrees. And because of the humidity and no trade wind, it gets, never gets sticky hot. It just gets hot. And we don't have, it's common in older homes. Our home was built in the 1940s. There's no central air. I literally have a home made of uh, plywood walls. <laughs> Name your favorite, even if you're not a type three. What are you seeing on me that you think's a favorite? What's your favorite on me? What's your favorite? What are you going to buy yourself right now? Give yourself that. I'm worth it. I'm going to go buy something. And with, here's the deal. When you're, if you're not a lifestyle member, you're paying for shipping. We have, I am sure we have over a thousand lifestyle members. We've got close to 5,000 right now, but I bet at least a thousand of those are members just to get free shipping because it's worth it. And the deal with the $12.95, you lock that in as long as you keep that. We always offer the annual, which is equivalent to the $12.95. So if you don't want to deal with monthly subscriptions and seeing um, a reoccurring bill, just get the, the annual. But if you're in a position where you need to pay out on a monthly basis, you lock that in for as long as your uh, membership is existing. All right. Now, oh, I'm actually going to change earrings because this is a favorite. I love that we got these. I may have influenced that. Sometimes I just want something so light and so simple, but you can see, especially with me, but I think that's true for any, the more lady, the older we get, the <laughs> I'm 66, the older we get, the better we age, the sharper our appearance, if we'll accessorize. I'm convinced of that. The more, we add a feminine quality. We add a, again, it's that I value myself. We up level our attractiveness and do it first for yourself. There's such a tendency to think oh, I'm getting older. I'm not as attractive. And that's not true. So we've got that piece. I might just wear these earrings if I want to just add something simple. But now we're going to go to nighttime. And let's say, you know what? I didn't give myself time to change my wardrobe, my clothing, my garment, <laughs> which is often the case. I'm just going to change my jewelry because I got to be ready in five minutes. It's a common scenario for type threes. This, I've told you every time we do this, I don't memorize the names, so I've nicknamed them all. Every type three needs this. That's the name of this jewelry piece. Every type three needs this. Just kidding, but I absolutely adore these. These are probably my favorite piece from this jewelry drop. They're lightweight. These wooden beads, it's just, you could wear, look, I could take a portion of this other one I had on and pair these with just, and look, the chain. Every type three needs, a, if you've hesitated getting a bracelet or a cuff that has these more substantial chains, this is the one. If you adore cuffs and bracelets with chains, like I do, this is a must. Now, we're going to go next level. Look at this. Is this just fantastic? And oh, look at this great, easy clasp. 
So we're going to put this tiered statement piece on with my basic, very simple t-shirt dress. I'm going to straighten this out. There we go. Now, my sometimes you need, because they don't have a collared, if I had a collared jacket on or is wearing this under a collared shirt, I would not choose these earrings. But when I have a very simple, it's warm out, I don't want to add a layering piece, I'm going to add a bigger earring that drops lower. So I don't kind of judge my earring size based on what's my necklace size and do I have collars and other things going on. How great is that? Then you throw on some pretty trendy glasses and that 66 year old woman really, she's got it together. Again, I'm not dressing for other people. We're dressing our truth for ourselves, but you're treated differently out in the world. As you age and as you're polite and you're just really this positive person out there, you make a difference. You make such a difference in someone's day. The store clerk, the, the um, person on the phone, you know, you just, maybe they talk to the grouchy 60 something year old and now you're brightening, you're lifting them up. Well, let's say I do have some a collared something on. We have another type three hoop again. No, this will not cut you. <laughs> it's sort of the joke in our world. Your jewelry could harm you. But look how great these look if you want to go smaller, but still dress it up. So, aren't those fun? Now, I did want to show you if you are a fan of the longer necklaces. This is a uh, fantastic pendant. I've tried wearing these longer ones, and they're not my thing, but you could put this on a different chain if you love that, if you wanted a little. This is going to drop probably just below the chest line down here. Yeah, that's how far it goes down for your point of reference. I don't think it's long enough you could double up the strand. Sometimes you can wrap it twice. So what's your favorite? What did you love in each of the types so far? And I want to um, shout out to all the ladies that participated last week in the men's profiling. Thank you. We did a 185 men. A lot of women now have that insight for their spouses. And the uh, excitement that comes with that is just, and the, and the gratitude is so, such a lovely uh, payback for me and my team that do all the steps. Okay, I've got a couple questions. So thanks for everyone for participating. Yeah, I think this could be a cross. I'll show you what I think could be crossovers. These could be a type one crossover for sure. These could be. If you're a three, one, a one, three, these could be. This is going to be too heavy for a secondary. This could be a three, two easily because it's softened. It's a, um, a, a little more softened piece with the ang enough angle though to keep it true to a type three. I think this is too rich for a crossover though. You could try it. It's interesting because once it uh, pairs with your type one tints, it would probably lend itself to type one also and it's very lightweight. So great questions. Thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Let's bring on Callista and uh, Move into our type four section because we'll shift the energy to stunning now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? 
Good. Good to have you. And thanks for uh, always looking fabulous. Oh, thank you. I have yeah. to tell you, I've been watching your segment and I just kept thinking you look so like 1960s chic. Oh, everything you've shown today. I just feel like you look so retro with like your glasses and I was like, you look so smart. <laughs> thank you. You weren't even alive then. No, I was not. Not for two more decades. I was. Yeah. I like to watch a lot of vintage shows, though. Yes. So. so well, thanks. I mean, uh, this if it were you did see those was the that was the decade that was the last decade of flight attendants looking chic in the United States. It's true. There are airlines, international ones, that still require that in their uniforms, where they wear the hats, the the more tailored outfits, and that's not something we do in our country anymore. But that definitely was the era of a more chic look for women. Jackie Onassis, I think, had a lot to do with that. Yes, her. her and we all know she was a type four. Yep. She set a standard. All right. Well, enjoy your time. I know you'll do a great job. Thank you. Ah, there are so many interesting pieces. And you'll notice I started blank. So Carol and I were kind of on the same page as far as how we chose we wanted to style our things today. And I'm so I'm just going to start with some earrings because, as you know, it's the type four. We can just do a pair of earrings and a bold red lip. So today I've got kind of a pinky red lip going on. And I'm going to show you just the difference it takes my whole level up if I add just a pair of earrings. So. These are some special ones. These little swans. So these are called swan song. They are a tiny little swan encrusted in rhinestones. And there's a little black rhinestone for their eye. So these are ones, they're, they might feel a little more animated, but I think what they are is they're simple enough that you could do them with just a plain top and they could be more casual. Or you could pair them with maybe like a beautiful pearl or diamondy necklace. And that would give you a look that was um, very chic, but, you know, a little nod to our type four energy. So love these. So fun. Sparkly. They're kind of like those earrings where people are going to look at you and go, oh, my goodness, your earrings are swans. You're going to like, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Thank you so much. So pause a little bit so we can appreciate them. You do want to make sure they're straight, of course, because that would be annoying otherwise. So swan song, love these. Great little easy to wear earring. So simple and beautiful. These other ones are fun. And I do have to admit, it took me a minute to, to realize how to wear them so that they looked correct. <laughs> um, so here's the trick. You have to put them in so that the, um, oh no, I feel like I lost it. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so the smaller side is out. So the small side, is the outside and the large size is inside. So that's how they go in. And I know it's, we seem clumsy on these videos because we're seeing a mirror image of ourselves and it makes it feel a little backwards. So get these in, these are really fun. So it gives you that like double hoop effect as if you had like a double piercing, but no need for the commitment. Just put these in, see how fun they look. They look so cool. Oh, I'm turning the wrong way. There we go. There you go. Now you can see it. So these are called two for the show. So you can see how cool they look. So, you know, you don't always have to wear a lot of pieces. You can just throw on a pair of earrings, put your lipstick on. You're good to go. You'll look amazing. So those are two for the show. So I, part of one of my tasks I do each, every well, it's every other week, is I switch out the featured articles in the front in our homepage. So when you go to like tutorials in lifestyle, or just even if you're not even lifestyle, logged into your lifestyle account, you'll see the featured things. So you see like the most recent posts, Style Inspire, and then the featured posts. And I was selecting them for this week and I went with the fitness posts. And I was just reminded that each type has a different level well, a different fitness need. So not everyone needs to be doing CrossFit. Not everyone's going to enjoy yoga. My type one sister, she says yoga makes her want to rip her eyeballs out, which I was like, oh, that's my like favorite form of exercise. So check those out. Uh, and then we on tomorrow's Style Inspire will be fitness wear. So summer fitness wear. So check those out. So these are called blue tied earrings and these are a beaded earring and they start out white 
and then they go aqua, turquoise, and then like a darker purple, um, excuse me, a darker blue. So big fan of these, very lightweight, very comfortable, easy to wear. But we're gonna go up with a necklace. This is called the paper crane. I love artistic pieces. And this is one that I was excited about. So it looks like the silhouette or outlines of a origami paper crane. It's a beautiful high shine silver. It looks really lovely, very reflective. So I will mention as we go along if I think it would be a good crossover for type two. So far, everything I've shown, I feel is pretty, pretty straight up type four. You could play with this because it's plain silver, but it does have a lot of pointed edges. So that may not be a preference, but type four all the way. So look how cool this looks. So fun. So interesting. So blue tide paper cranes. I memorized the names this time. So <laughs> we're going from there. So with the girl core, I am in bring, enjoying bringing in bits of flowers and cuteness. And these little earrings are forget-me-not, and they are unforgettable. Put these in. You may have noticed I straightened my hair today. I haven't straightened my hair for a long time. And I decided I wanted to grow my hair out. I haven't had a long for a long time. And I was I've been curling it the last few years, and I curled it the last few times I've worn it and I didn't like the movement. And I was like, okay, what's the difference with curling my hair with it long versus when it's short. And I realized when it's shorter, the movement's less because there's not as much hair. And I like the movement of the curls, but as my hair is getting longer to have the curls and because they're getting elongated, it felt actually very tight too. Whereas when it's short and curly, it feels secondary one, but I have a nice blunt cut for the type four. But now you can see I'm about, three inches longer, almost four inches longer than the length I've been keeping it. And I thought, oh, you know what? I need to go back to straight for when it's longer. But once it gets pretty long, then I like to go curls because then I get these really long, like a uh, column of curl. So you'll notice straight here today. Have you noticed your styling preferences change based on the length of your hair? And that may be a clue if you're, if you're growing it out and you're like, oh, I just don't like it anymore. Try styling it differently because this brought the movement down because there's more hair, which means more movement, but I've sleeked it down, straightened it out. And luckily for me, my hair is very versatile. It straightens easily and also curls very easily. This, this necklace that I wanna show you is really, really cool. So it has a clasp that allows you to remove the necklaces so they can be worn individually or you can just use this clasp when you want to layer other necklaces. So you kind of get two things. You get two necklaces and a very useful clasp. So if you like the layered look and you want to pair two other necklaces, but you want to just keep it simple, borrow this clasp. So it's a very versatile piece, very interesting. I always have to do my clasp with my dominant hand. So I have to switch that around there. Otherwise I'm clumsy. This is a piece that could go secondary too. Uh, it has a brushed silver with a hammered. So I think maybe if you were a secondary, if you were type two with a secondary four, you would enjoy it because they are rectangles. So you'll have to just try that as a preference. But we get the beautiful shell here, silver here with a small freshwater pearl. So a very beautiful piece with a touch of little whimsy up here with the forget me not. Oh, and these earrings definitely could be a crossover for type two as well. So. They're just a nice small little flower. They're shiny silver, so that's why they are dominantly type four, but a secondary, well, really any type two, I think could play with them as well. So just have to try them and see. So if you're looking for a secondary or a crossover, that's a great piece. So, oh, I forgot to tell you the name. Necklace is Time Will Tell. Time Will Tell, forget me nots. So I am a big fan, and I've been saying so a lot this time. I apologize. Filler words. I like botanical inspired things. So I love these earrings. I love the little swans. Well, aren't botanical, but you know, nature inspired. And when I saw this pendant, I thought, oh, this pendant gives me statement, reflection, stillness with a nod to nature. So this is steady growth. So this is our steady growth necklace. It has multiple snake chains with this very bold, clear, reflective leaf. And then let's see, do I have the earrings here? It does come with a pair of earrings. Oh, here they are. So you can wear these little earrings. 
But as Carol said, you know, matchy matchy may not be what you like. So you could try, you could try with the matching earrings if you wanted. I, the, the shape is too identical, so I didn't like it as much. But what I did like that I'm going to go with here, these are Stardust. These are Huggies. So they have a, a hinge and then they clasp around. So they're very comfortable. And you know what I like about these kind of earrings? So if you're a napper, if you're a person who likes to lay down and have a little siesta, but you don't like your earrings poking you when you do that. I never, I never napped until recently, but now I rest. Um, I'll take rest during the day and don't always nap, but I hate it when I have to take my earrings out. But these ones are very comfortable to lay on because there's nothing poking you on the back of your ear. So Stardust earrings. The other ones that I really have been, been enjoying for that purpose is are the silver drops. So they're kind of those blobby silver drop earrings that we did last release. Those are also very comfortable to lay in because they lay kind of flat and then the post goes along the back of your neck. So they're not there. So let's reflect. Let's reflect on how these pieces compare with our style guides. So here's our pattern guide. You can see looks great. Good match there. And then our words, our keywords were constant, still, bold, firm, simple, striking, structured, clean. Are all of these pieces paralleling or are they congruent with these words? We can absolutely say yes. This is still, it's reflective, constant. You know, these pieces, these, these give you two hoops with less movement. So they are more still. And of course the colors are all true. They're all silver other than our blue pieces. Look, but our blue pieces, they might as well be this part of the card. Yep, just add white to the bottom and then we've got this whole line up right here. So that's really fun. So a good comparison, a great match there. So as Carol mentioned, making your own draping kit is simple, it's easy as pie. You just take your, take your cards, you know, of course, you've got one for all four types. And I keep mine here in my drawer. So you just grab out, oh, pattern guides are on top. So you grab your cards. You just walk up and down the aisles. Just go to the yellow section. Most fabric stores group all the colors together. So you're going to see all the yellows. It's very easy to spot. Pick When I, when I uh, make a group of colors, because we do this for our videos, you'll notice we've done pinks and greens. And I was in charge of getting the pinks. So just grab all that you think. I ended up with probably like 10 bolts of fabric in the cart. And then once I got them all together, I was really able to narrow them down to pick which one resonated with each of the cards. And it's so easy to do. Watch the videos that Carol posts on social media. We will have a post coming out soon with how to do that. And as Carol mentioned, we will show you how to create the kits. You can see examples of how we drape people. But yeah, so style kits, draping kits, those are your keys. So really make one purchase your style kit. Most of you already have it. If you don't, grab one so that you can start having fun draping your family members. I mean, I've done this with my kids, with my friends, with my sisters. I haven't done it in a long time because most of the people in my personal circle, we already know our types. Um, but back when I first started doing it, I had a set of reds and we definitely utilized them. So what are your favorite pieces? What are you excited to get? Use your free shipping if you're a lifestyle member. If not, the price of shipping two orders is going to be the price of a lifestyle membership right now with the $12.95 lock-in. And if you'd like a yearly membership, go ahead and get that. This is the time to do it. It lasts through the end of this month. So to the end of June. So if you're considering it, now is the time to do it. Try it for a couple months and you will be surprised. You will, you will actually won't be surprised. I'm not surprised. You will find that your value in return is so tremendous because you're getting, not only are you getting free shipping, you're getting all the great information that extends your learning of the Dressing Your Truth concepts to your family members, your personality, understanding yourself, how you experience big emotions like sadness and depression, how you can support your children even more, how you can connect with your partner or your parents or your mother. This has been profoundly beneficial in understanding my sisters and my mother and the dynamic we have together. We all knew we've known this about ourselves for close to 20 years now. It's been about uh, like 18 years now that we've all been immersed in this information and our relationships. I can't imagine what they would have been like without knowing this because it removes all the judgment you have and allows you to just allow people to be themselves and to love each other unconditionally without any expectation. So for that alone, understanding, dressing your truth and energy profiling thoroughly 
if that's all you get, that is worth, that is priceless. It truly is priceless. So get into lifestyle, grab your pieces of jewelry. What do you want to express yourself with? The more I'm looking at this, this like, this might be my favorite combination <laughs> out of this really, this drop of jewelry. I, I'm probably just going to wear these all week because, you know, I could just sleep in them. Just take them out to shower and pop them back in. But anyway, thank you for joining us. Those who stayed on from the whole time from type one to type four. We're so grateful to have you. We're grateful to have anyone who's jumped in. This will be posted on our website next week. So if you missed it today, watch it there. It's also in lifestyle. So Share it with your friends, share it with your family members, your sisters, show them all the cute things, you know, keep in mind, say, watch this video and let me know what you'd like for your next birthday present. And I, you know, grab them, get people what they like, you know, no more guessing. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. There we have it. My chatty, chatty little rant. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being a lifestyle member. Thank you for being a part of the Dressing Your Truth community. We appreciate you so much. See you later.